Normal startup procedure for a Foxbat. Check everything, make sure everything's on, off, everything is should be. Uh, check all the various controls and then switch on the master switch, ignition switch on, put the part brake on, which is uh, throttle in this aircraft is between the seats here. And as you can see, the part brake moves, uh, sorry, the, the uh, brake moves with the throttle lever. So you apply pressure to the throttle lever and then swivel the part brake in the usual way into the locked position here. Okay, magnetos on, clear prop. Now in the aircraft here we have the Dynon screen, uh, which gives you all the flight instruments here, knots, feet above sea level, horizon, um, and it gives you a ribbon as well as a number, direction gyro across the top, a vertical speed indicator, outside air temperature, uh, density altitude and true airspeed. On the right hand side this one is programmed for RPM oil pressure, oil temperature, fuel flow at five and a half litres an hour, and cylinder head temperature. By pushing different buttons on the Dynon, you can circulate through different screens, um, so that this one takes you through to an engine and navigation screen, uh, the flying and navigation screen, flight timers and other information. One minute we've got on flight time here right now, the fuel computer here, and finally, the electrics and various other things before it brings you right back to where you were before. Um, the radio, pretty standard, transponder standard, all backed up with an analog uh, airspeed indicator and altimeter, and then the GPS over this side here. We can do a go-to, and uh, go to Liangatha, which is the airfield we're based at at the moment. So we'll do go to Liangatha, and that will give us some information here, which when you put through onto the... Uh, uh, dine on screen here, you'll see we'll, he we'll end up with a how to get to Liam Gatha piece of information. When we actually get flying, there's also information on wind speed and direction and crosswind component and so on. It's an extremely useful gadget. Okay, other than that, uh, I guess it's pretty much standard Foxbat stuff. Fuel gauges, switches for the equipment, magnetos, fuses, uh, master switch here, manual trim on the floor, which goes with the uh, control yokes and then the control yokes have the push to torque on the left-hand side for the pilot or the right-hand side for the co-pilot. Compass in the roof here, and that's your lot. I guess we better go flying in a Foxbat, which is a load of fun, as always. Traffic Lee and Gather, Foxbat 5333 is entering and backtracking runway 36 on my way to runway 04, Lee and Gather.